Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Immerse series. And last episode, Rendori, our uh, Wood Elf Hunter, actually he almost got killed last episode in um, multiple ways. <laughs> the first way was getting your head chopped off at the chopping block, but that got interrupted by an even worse, probably painful death, which was a dragon pops up out of nowhere and decides to just wreak havoc over there in Helgen. So Rendori just, you know, he um, he meets up with a guy named Raylov and that helps him to get out of there to escape and oh, Raylov brought him to the nearby village which is Riverwood. Upon coming here, Rendori meets a couple of people. Uh, right now, the only person that he really trusts, he's still a little distant because he's in a native land, is Fained all over there. It looks a little different because, I, as you can see, we're getting rained on hard right now. So, um, today we're probably going to be, well, he's going to probably be uh, a little limited on what he can do for the simple fact that it's pouring. And this area is not the coldest in Skyrim, but it's not certainly not the warmest. Um, well, not the warmest place in general. Because he can still get exposed and, you know, still get sick in this area. As a matter of fact, probably every part of Skyrim is probably good if it's raining. So he has to be careful about that. Um, so, last episode, Feindal asked Rendori to do him a favor. Which was to speak to Camilla Valeria. So we're going to do that. We're going to go over there and help Feindal and his situation and maybe who knows maybe Feindal can help him in a future endeavor and then after that we're going to see what happens from there well one of us has to do something I said no no adventures no theatrics no thief chasing well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. This way. Another poem, I bet. 
He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. All right, then. This way. This way. So we know that Skyrim gets bugged, and this little uh, scripted event always decides to get buggy when uh, Camilla wants to go over here and, and lead the way. So this way. seems like she's not budging right now. So we're going to kind of disregard. We did what we needed to anyway with Camilla. She told us where to go on the other side of the mountain. So Mendori is just going to take it upon herself to... Uh, tell feigned all the news and probably he's probably going to go check up on those wolves that he brought down in the last episode oh now she decides to move <laughs> ain't only a couple of inches let's see if she'll go a little bit more this way nope Oh. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Seems like she moves a step and then <laughs> she stops everyone. So we're not going to make waste any more time for a Skyrim glitch. We're going to kind of ignore those uh, along the way. I'm just telling you guys now, but in the future, I'm just going to ignore Skyrim gl glitches naturally and just move on. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go check on those wolves for now. It only makes sense that <laughs> I had to try though. <laughs> it only makes sense that uh, that fire wouldn't help while it's raining. <laughs> but I still had to try. So while I'm field dressing this wolf, I'm going to actually talk about the mod, Hunterborn, that, that actually allows me to do this. Normally, the mod, what it does is it takes time. Like every time I want to skin the pelt or harvest ingredients, uh, like I think an hour or so goes by in, in game. But the way I have my episode structure is by the days and the time. So if I do, like if I, let's say I did all of this with all of the features cut on where it takes time for every one of these I'll probably be looking at evening by the time I get finished just doing this so <laughs> the morning episode the noon episode and the evening episode will all be just what two minutes long not even a couple of seconds long so it only makes sense to kind of disable those time factors the only thing I did leave in was the butcher meat because I figured that butcher and meat takes the most time so it kind of requires that in my opinion and it kind of helps me to not overdo butchering meat and only do it with certain situations where I actually do need the meat but in this situation the meat is cold it's not a fresh kill it's been over it's been sitting here all night it's raining so Rendori is just not interested at all 
and the the wolf meat he's only going to get the pelt and the ingredients pretty much materials for from the these wolves Since it's raining and Rendori's already wet, it's not going to hurt him to get even more wet over here in this water. So while Rendori was actually uh, harvesting the ingredients from the wolf, he remembered the cave that the wolf was nearby uh, when he was actually chasing it. So he's thinking that it may be a wolf's den, so he's going to go investiga uh, investigate that place and see what it really is. Well, who knows what's in there. So Midori escaped from another near-death experience. This time it was actually unexpected. These bandits over here, they uh they got the drop on Rendori. Rendori actually thought those was probably travelers seeking shelter uh from the storm. But it turns out that they was out for any unsuspecting traveler seeking shelter to take their goods and all of that stuff, so Midori has lost the battle but not the war. So he's going to try to take them by surprise uh, later. But for now, he's going to go to the end and try to warm up, eat some food, you know. And pretty pretty much regain his balance. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Until next time. Little does he know. So speaking with Sven, that reminds Feindal, I mean, Rendori to speak to Feindal and tell him about the encounter with Camilla. Tell me, 
as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Mm-hmm. Until next time. So, with that done, uh, Rendori got a couple of, you know, got some septums. And uh, we're going to see, he's checking out the alchemy table over there, so he's going to ask about that and see, you know, if he can do some of that. You can tell a lot of these people giving Rendori the looks. We got room. Like he's not welcome here. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together. See what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion. If you didn't know. You see how he talked down to Rendori as if he's a ignorant Bosmer and this is the reason why he thinks that way but in any case Rindori is going to craft some ingredients but for now he's going to actually test some of the ingredients and see what he can get from them Well, that was interesting. Seems like uh, Rendori has night vision now, and apparently, that is from. Let's see. Eye of the Wolf. Night Eye gives him night eye, so he's going to keep that in mind. Whenever he skins a wolf, or he you know, takes ingredients from a wolf, he knows that he's getting night eye for dark places. Um they got a couple of other things, you know, this dark acid from the butterfly wing, stone skin from the hawk feathers. Speaking about hawk feathers, um that's one of the things that Rendori's gonna hunt. He's gonna actually try to shoot when he gets skilled enough, shoot uh birds out the sky. And I'm thinking about, just on a side note, I'm thinking about adding some some of those mods, um, like the Birds of Skyrim mod, the Flocks of Birds, and stuff like that. I haven't quite done it yet because my past experience with that mod is um, that it doesn't quite work how I expect it to work. Because there's some times where there'll be a bird like a little bird in the area that lands next to some bandits and that'll trigger their uh, their attack like they start attacking it instead of me and it kind of breaks the immersion because like why what would these bandits you know have so much interest in the bird but another thing was is that the bird didn't die I remember that too I remember the bandit used to attack it and keep hitting and hitting and the bird won't die so they'll just be shouting at it you won't leave Skyrim alive and all this whole crazy stuff trying to kill the bird I'm like man this thing is immortal or something so it was just it was very weird I don't know if it got patched since then but whatever so at least we can see uh, this crafting table this alchemy lab in the dark now because of our vision so far so good seems like as soon as you speak about something it, it 
something messes up. Damn it. So, um, I guess I'll take this time to talk about some things from the last episode. Um, somebody asked me, you know, why didn't I post up a new video? You know, what's up with that? This, that, as I said to him and some of you guys probably missed, this series is going to be, um, like, as you've seen, like, the first four episodes, that was one full day of a character. This series is going to probably going to be, uh, like, one day a week, you know. I might do more, depending on my, you know, time and stuff. But, uh, I'm going to be going back to school soon. You know, I have appointments, you know, uh, throughout the week and stuff like that, just in general. So, um... I need to, you know, I'm going to be busy and stuff, so I need to still post the, the videos, but I'm not going to have the time, the type of time to post like four in a day and stuff like that. So I didn't want to get you guys thinking that it's going to be a regular thing for that, get you get you guys hopes up uh, for that. But who knows? You, I mean, you know, you you guarantee one day a week, and it may change. You know, like uh, you might get surprised where I put my multiple days in a week and you might get more than you were expecting so sometimes the surprise is even better than just straight up uh, you know um, videos and stuff like that yeah, we're just going to craft a whole shit ton as much as we can because we picked a lot of ingredients along the way Okay, we're pretty much done. But as you guys seen, Rendori leveled up. So he looks to the heavens and he begs of the gods to grant him a little bit of stamina to better him and evasion and run away <laughs> because that seems to be the only thing he's been doing since he got the Skyrim is running away. Um so we'll do that and also we're going to try to get a little stronger in our combat area I guess you could call it um, I would have went because the one that we're going to be focused on is one handed but he would have to find a specific sword because Rendori is going to be using katanas and stuff like that so that's what he's used to in general and tantos and stuff so he hasn't ran across any of that yet so he's he's not he's focused on archery um but yeah evasion archery not so much sneak at least not for now not lock picking pit pocket none of that not even speech but alchemy so it's going to be three it's going to be alchemy evasion and archery now if you take a look at this this says you inquired insights uh the basic alchemical insights and understand how to work with a laboratory thus you can craft your own potions and poisons now but I believe the rank 2 of this one if I wanted to get that one I think this unlocks the ability to when once you consume an ingredient you get to see every um, every uh, effect that it has just from the beginning so uh, it's kinda it could be OP if you if you want to say that, especially if having that in the beginning. But I kind of think that's the start of a of a new thing. Let me check this out really quick. Cause I haven't I saw that from the corner of my eye, but I didn't really read this before. Having altered your body and extracts from Saber Cat Eye, uh, you can now make your eyes see in the dark at will. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. very interesting and I'm assuming that you need a saber cat eye to get this one it only makes sense but that's good to know because once Rendori gets that then dungeon crafting would be a lot better I mean dungeon crafting D 
dungeon crawling, I guess you want to call that, would be a lot better. So, Rendori feels a little stronger. He's warmed up. He's created post crafted potions, um, a ton of potions, and he feels like he can take those bandits in that cave by surprise. So. going to see what happens with that right now it's 11 a.m. almost noon we must make haste While we're while we're headed over there, I just wanted to ask you guys, uh, what do you think of the series so far? I know it's a little different. It's some, something that you're not quite used to uh, from normal Let's Plays and stuff. But I really wanted to kind of push the fact of immersion, especially for just for Skyrim. I'm thinking about doing other playthroughs um, for other games, <coughs> and not only Elder Scrolls, just like any game in general. Um, I'm thinking about that. But I'm not quite sure if I want to attack that just yet. Um, but when I do those, it's going to be like just me talking. A normal, I guess you want to say, gameplay videos or playthroughs or anything like that. But enough of that. Let's put on our serious face and watch Rendori try to take these bandits on. What was that? So forced to kill, Rendori um, had his first encounter with bandits and succeeded. This guy took an arrow to the throat. And she went down quick as well. This woman right here gave him a problem, but it taught him a little about a little more about evasion and how to use his surroundings. If you guys notice he uh he quickly uh, use his his area to to his advantage because once they surrounded him, I mean his only option was to leap down and but see he, he's used to leaping down because he you know he, he used to climb trees all the time in in Vanillewood so Let's see we could grab some meat and some arrows okay. Oh, leather boots. I see how. What are those about? Seems like I get a gain from that. Not so much the hide armor, and then I'm not quite going to, you know, strip down people unless I really need the armor. But for now, this stuff you can sell at the 
I wonder if this cold cloak helps with the rain. This is how Rendori looks now. He actually looks pretty cool. With his little cloak and his hood. I'm not a huge fan of cloaks in games unless it's really done right. I mean, I, I like them when they're done right, like you see in the movies and stuff. But a lot of times it's done wrong, and they kind of uh, he, he's having a he's having a good old time stripping off this meat from off of these people. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, the ones that the the animations don't look quite right and stuff like that. So we got some more ammo for our bow. So we're back in bow business. And Rendori, he's going to take a look around and see what's going on. Dory never trusts anybody else's kill, so unless he really needs it, he's not going to take it. He likes to hunt on his own. But he does trust gold. <laughs> and if gold and rubies want to lay around, he'll take it. But he wouldn't openly steal it from somebody if somebody occupied it. And of course, he, he'll take these because these bandits try to kill him. So it's not going to have be used to anyone if he just leaves it there. can see Rendori is very agile so that bandit was uh, fairly sloppy with what he was doing his technique so it was quite easy to dispatch him
cannot best you. So being an archer is very is is uh, helping Rendori a lot right now and being used to his vantage because these bandits are not quite skilled at all and they have no ranged weapons so Rendori can take them out quicker than they can get to him. So he's gonna search I think it was two bandits over here. So he's gonna search this water. See if the bandit dropped down. Hmm. Not quite sure where the other bandit went. Unless he just disappeared. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Well, he was a coward. And Rendori, I mean, being a hunter, he uh, he'd rather take his prey out because when he when he gets in a situation like that, in his head, he feels like the, he's in a hunt. When somebody wants to be his enemy or attack him, that's when he gets into hunt mode. And once he's in hunt mode, he's going to take down whatever it is or whoever it is with no remorse and no mercy. So that's how he moves. Okay, so um, the way I'm going to handle books is I'm just going to just like I opened the book and I have it shown on screen so you guys can read and then I'll close it really quick if you guys want to read you can pause the video that's fine with me um, but for the future you know that's how I'm gonna pretty much do it I have it there I go through the pages a little slow for you guys to you know just read if you want to kinda uh, create that story in your head of you know why you're watching the video alright so let's move on. We got a little wet over there. Looking for that bandit. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's see if this fire will help us out. We got a torch in our hand and we're next to a fire. So I'm pretty sure we can. But um, I think I'm going to wrap the episode up. Well, at least the morning section of the episode. I, th I believe we are a little past noon, but, you know, I'm not going to separate them. The next episode will be noon, so keep watching and let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. I want to see comments. I want to see, you know, critiques and uh, just questions, general questions about the character or the mods or whatever. So, till next time, peace.